Okay then, let's um, start changing the colours of this sky then. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer by clicking on the new layer icon just here. Okay, so there you go, you can see that that creates a new layer. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just right click on that and I'm going to go to create clipping mask. And what that's going to do is when I paint the colours on shortly, that's going to tell Photoshop which areas of the image I want to apply an effect to and you'll know if you've got it right because you'll get a little arrow pointing from the layer going down to this one and it'll indent the preview of it okay so that's that bit done and then what I would like to do is just open the brush tool that one there uh, I want a soft round brush and I want about a 55 in size again so about that my opacity should be at 100% uh, and I want my foreground colour to be set to black which at the moment it is not so I'll just set that okay and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start painting the lower part of the sky okay um, so I'm just going to do this here so I don't want to paint too much of it uh, but I just do want to paint enough so just this sort of area here okay and at the moment that'll go black which is fine that's what I want um, but what I'm going to do now just to desaturate um, some of the colour I'm going to change this layer setting from normal to colour and you can now see if I preview this on and off it's having an effect on the colour in the image okay so that's just made that look a little bit more bleak which is the effect I'm going for okay now in the um, next video we're going to use the clone stamp tool just to make the top of the sky a little bit more interesting um, so I'll see you in the next video for that